<clears throat> There's the cough. <clears throat> and also, I sound quite hoarse, actually. Vampire. It's been... It's been a ride. Twitch, YouTube. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You may have noticed uh, my improved level over there. A lot of running back and forth and killing, like, the same dude over and over to, to buff some stats. And, uh, not much else was accomplished. So we should be on our way, then, with our newfound vigor and strength. The only thing I really did, other than, uh, grind out a bunch of levels, was, uh, grind it a bit. Yep, now level 30. Uh, only other thing I did was there was a recipe here that I analyzed, and it gave me the, uh... The antidote, of which I still need William Marshall's blood, King Arthur's blood, and a dose of insulin. Which you'd think I could just get, you know? The local chemist might have that. But no, I need to go raid an abandoned morgue or whatever. Which is... Uh, behind the hospital, yeah. You know, where it's always been. So let's go do that. My health and stamina, I'm pretty sure I maxed those guys out, and, uh, I buffed a bit of my blood attacks as well. Mostly the healing, I think. I'm going the wrong way. Yep, certainly am. Wanna go this way? Yeah. Don't mind me, to gentlemen, I guess. Officers? What? Whatever you want to call yourselves, don't mind me. This is the morgue? No, this is the morgue. Yeah, this is the morgue? No, where's the morgue? Look, I know I left a morgue around here somewhere. garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. Why, why can't you use garlic, and why is insulin a substitute for garlic? I know the note you found said, oh, it's gonna hurt like hell if I were to eat this garlic, but at the same time, it didn't say it would kill him. I'm more... I am genuinely more confused on how insulin is a substitute for garlic. But what do I know? Alrighty. A subscription from 7-9 on a 13-month streak. You'll love to see it. 7-9. How have you been? What's going on? Here for the finale and the... I really should have had that wheel prepared. The inevitable wheel spin. Just me, no one important. Oh, please. Knew that immediately. Here for Ham Ham Heartbreak. Oh, you're right. I better go home. This morgue really isn't a place I want to be stumbling around in. Stupid idiot. Uh, let's see... I don't know where... I mean, I have to imagine it's that 18 meters one, not the 38 or the... Sorry, 381 or the 240. Uh, so it's upstairs. Don't mind me. Oh, shit. He didn't have insulin. Or garlic. That glass vial. Good stuff, good stuff. And, uh... I walk slowly up to you. Oh, shit. Right, stun is like an instant. Stun's like an instant, uh... Drain of their thing. This any good now? Eh, that's not bad. Love that I'm taking these hits so well. Super big fan of that. Makiri counter him. He has a shotgun. I don't think I can ordinary counter him. I can also just shoot blood at him. Better for group attacks than a singular individual, but, you know, probably still somewhat effective. I kind of thought the three spike attack would be a bit more concentrated. You know, hit him like, get, get him three times there, you know, ow. Get him three times there, you know. Ah, oh, God. Even with uh, stamina as best as it can be. At least I can play somewhat more recklessly. That's nice. That'll that'll make it nice for me. All I really needed anyway. Uh, let's see. Find insulin in the morgue. 
Well, based on the uh, little radar, it's got to be upstairs. Yep, somewhere around here. Oh, this is embarrassing. For you! Ow. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Well, listen, guys. Uh, ha-ha! Get a taste of these apples! Explode. Just... Oh, shit. Did good damage. I think it wounded him slowly over time as well. That's a... Yeah, well, all right. That's fair. Ah, hate your fucking sunlight, bro. Oh, I need some blood. Oh, what the fuck? Hi! Yo, where'd you come from? Yeah, fuck off. Why are you fighting me? Fight the yeah. You, you guys have at it. Let's heal up over here. Ha! Suckers. Anyway, insulin, you say? Insulin. All right. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Okay, but I thought Thank part you, of the Polescu. thought part of the whole garlic thing was because you're a vampire and it needed to kind of wound you in order to be effective. This serum. I assumed it, you know, incorporated your weakness, thus breaking down the vampiric gene or blood trait or whatever. Who knows, maybe John just happens to be allergic to penicillin and it works out. You guys are going at it, and I respect that. Alright, bets. Who's gonna win? A kid uh, tried to pick a fight with me today. Oh, how'd that work out for him? I believe in somebody winning. Uh, looks like the skull won. Sorry, the skull lost, excuse me. Looks like the skull lost. Clearly did not win that. Haha! -ha! Oh, you resist blood, right? Ow! Stop that! You and your fancy god given powers of believing in yourself or whatever it is you do to wound me. Other than hitting me with a big stick, this is like the one guy I probably could Makiri counter for the record. I'd like some blood, please. Jiro! I just got a big old stick. Unless you're referring to the whole healing myself business. He punched his fucking desk. Well, I mean... Did it show you how cool and level-headed and tough he is? Did he punch his desk and you went, Wow, that's a guy I can respect. Kept insulting me in history. I'll give you a question for our history revision. In what year did I ask for your opinion? Oh, shit. Got him. I'm amazed he's still standing after that devastating burn. Yo, are you an arsonist? Because that guy is just ash at this point. Oh, hey, water. I can make a fucking healing potion with the water sturdy blood sample. I should also go. The screams of the damned are haunting me at the moment. I like the idea of you getting a sassy put down in no name and he goes, What? Bah! And just like straight up boxer punches his desk across the room, not just, you know, slaps it or anything. Never threw hands, but I chucked his bag in a place where students can't go, and me and a pal of mine locked him in there. I mean, not to put too fine a point on it, but that does seem a little bit mean. Don't get me wrong, sounds like the guy had it coming, but at the same time, not knowing exactly what happened, uh, I don't know, maybe he absolutely had it coming and that was the right thing to do. Just saying, tried to pick fight with you. Eh. Where was it, anyway? Was it just, like, the teacher's lounge, or what? I guess it depends on where it is you locked him in. I just went back in the morgue, because I'm an idiot. Yeah, if you just locked him in the teacher's lounge, man, eh, who fucking cares? Ah, he's blatantly homophobic. Eh, I'll do it. Fair enough, had it coming. I assumed you meant homophobic, yeah. And I'll stick with the ass, sounds like you had it coming. Still, though, if you locked him in, like, I don't know, the meat grinder slash haunted boiler room, probably a little extreme. You know, just saying.
I don't know how many of those are kicking around uh, British schools or English schools, but, uh, you know, still, I think it's safe to say that's probably a bit much. All right, uh, I should be able, can I get more? Yeah, I can't get more than one, of course not. I do have garlic, though, and I can make uh, blood samples, which is nice. I mean, given... Okay, well, not anymore. Given I can heal myself with uh, my blood, having a blood sample is basically a healing potion, just a little bit slower. So, you know, it works. You're staring at me while we did an exam and got yelled at and started blaming me. Oh, he was cheating on your test? I got a history question for you. What year did I ask for your opinion? At which point you put on your shades and smoked a cigarette and fucking flicked it at him as he burst into flames. And you said, burn. And simultaneously, men and women across the school suddenly orgasmed. It was weird. But, you know, well earned. That's, that's how I picture that going down. He yelled, what do you have to say for yourself? You're gonna get in trouble. And I looked at him, made an L with my hand. Yeah, a finger gun as you delivered your sick burn. I assume. Again, I wasn't there, obviously, but this is how I picture it going down in my head. I should have a word with Swansea now that he's all vampired and whatnot. I wanted to do that, but I was busy writing an epic fantasy novel about own name and uh, triumphing over the forces of evil there. Bear in mind, uh, he was saying this shit and he's nearly 15. What do you have to say for yourself? You're going to get in trouble. What is he, that fucking kid from Sharkboy and Lava Girl? Where he's like, ah, I demand that you have him expelled immediately. And it's like, you're in fourth grade. What the fuck are you Don't doing? My dear, I can never thank you enough. Thank me? For what? Gee, John. Now you know what I mean. I am, well, I'm just like you. No, I'm tall and handsome. You're, well, let's just say you're not just like me. Ahem. It was a punishment, you idiot. Uh. Have you no shame? Must I remind you of your ludicrous actions? Of the innocent men and women who died at your hands? Shame is for mortals, Jonathan. Wow. I know it now, and you should too. Wow. We are something else. That's a fucking Even heel more. turn. You're a fucking dick. Will you continue as Pembroke's administrator? Of One course. girl did go too far and told him to kill himself. That's yeah. And since I'm already dead, I can't get sick. <sighs> and what about Pruin then? I'm afraid Pruin will find you. Or Pruin, excuse me. Next time they will do more than abduct and torture you. I remain a man of peace. If things were to go awry, I would flee rather than slice them up as you would, my friend. Was, was that a was that a jab at me? Fuck you, Pem Pembroke. I almost called him Swansea. Pembroke's the hospital. To be fair, I read Pembroke right there. I will say this game is very um. I haven't seen a dialogue tree. Maybe it's the video games I'm playing, but I haven't seen a dialogue tree like this in ages in a video game. And so it's very of its time in that. Will you continue as Pembroke's administrator? That said, of this course. game came out in... I can help more than 16? 17? Since I'm already dead, I can't get sick. Right, I asked you this. Um, even then, I think these dialogue trees are kind of on the way out. These are, ver these are very sort of Dragon Age, Mass Effect type of thing, which was like... 2012, 2013. Asking about the deluge of Grilovia. Uh, yo. Uh, instead, how about Jeffrey Use McCollum? Jeffrey McCollum. I'm sure both of you would have quite an interesting discussion after... Pretty much the equivalent. Events. He left the hospital without being treated for the severe... Which, though, you did start an epidemic and don't seem like we'll particularly sorry about it. Enough. No, no, you didn't hear him, Arg. Shame is for mortals. You should mention it. I asked him once what he would do if I were a vampire. He said he would give me an hour for old time's sake. Well, that's polite of him. <laughs> Boy, you must be like his favorite person. A whole hour, huh? 
That's quite a head start for somebody that can shadow teleport, let me tell you. You could make fucking tracks in an hour. Uh, so what's your plan what there? What you do now that you are immortal? Experiment, my dear colleague. I have an eternity to make scientific progress. Well... I could be the only scientist able to undertake extreme experiments upon himself. Oh, you, you are speaking to a doctor, right? Like, we're both men of science here. That said, at least it sounds like you're doing something worthwhile with your immortality. Maybe, uh... Maybe have a good story for the eyes. You got a little, you know, just lurgied up there. Uh... What kind of experiments? Who knows? Nervous shock, brain damage, pain and recovery. There's almost no limit to what my body can now endure. I could be the next Henry Head. Can't say I know who that is, but I will say, if you're gonna experiment like this, at least he has a willing subject, i.e. himself, so. God, look at my hair in the webcam. I probably should get a haircut. It's hard for me to tell. Like, I'm very sort of scruffy right now. Uh, hard for me to tell when I need a haircut because a certain fiance of mine really likes Goodbye, fluffy Edgar. hair. So I'm certain we'll meet again. She uh she does not exactly encourage the old uh trip to the barber shop, handsome streamer. Please. Look like I got hit by three trucks on my way to the webcam. I just so happen to have a fluffy head of hair. <clears throat> Letter of Rakesh. Shinada? Shinada? That's the, uh... Form oh, yeah, that's that guy. Uh, glad we managed temporary morgue as soon as it's open. Okay, okay, that's just... Probably should have found that way earlier. Anyway, weird that we don't have any questions for him about his insane vampire defense down in the basement of, like, rigged spotlights in a big gladiatorial combat arena and like why you thought because there was that hand wavy explanation of ah you know, Swansea thought vampires might invade and then like from that point specifically you think they'd walk over to the elevator and come up to you what's we don't have that at the front door there Swansea what the hell anyway enough of this can I get uh where is... There you are. Are you fatigued? Do I have fatigue medicine? Good evening. I can't recall. Good evening, doctor. Still trying to save lives. I tried to keep, uh... One... Do you need any medical help? I'm afraid. At all... Uh, oop. Nope, don't. I'll see. Yeah. Well, sorry about that. Uh, give me some I've shotgun lost. ammo. You know, the drill. If you're probably gonna take anything from this R... Or R... 7-9. I'd say shotgun is, uh... Definitely the uh, the hero this stream needs and deserves. It has gotten me through like two boss fights, just carrying me. Out of the uh, four boss fights, it's carried me through two of them. Maybe five. There was the big Irish dude. Uh, you have Jiro. There was the big Irish dude, my sister, uh, McCullum, and. Uh. Doris Fletcher, or Doris, whatever her last name is. Racist lorry driver. That's a deep cut. That's... I'm not even sure, uh... Like, Kenochi Penguin and Own Name get that one. Maybe Penguin. Penguin's been around for a while. Always there lurking in the background with a fun emote. Alright, so which one am I going for? Uh... I guess I'll go to you first. Head to McCollum over here. God, less than a month until my birthday. And we all know what my birthday means. I get to stream Okage Shadow King. Probably not right away. I'll wait to be done with whatever I'm streaming, but my birthday marks the time to stream Okage again. Big nuts. He get That's actually true. You get it. I'm gonna let... You got... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys play this out. I'll take on the winner. How about it? <sighs> Ooh. No, 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 I'll wait over here. Don't mind me. Ooh. 
My money's on the uh, the vampire in this case. He is given what for. Lord Hammersley, apparently. He's given what for to this guy. Hi, I should help out. Enjoy that. My gift to you, buddy. You might want to step back or... Okay, well. Tried to warn him. Birthday's in December. The 9th. 14, 15. Not quite. It is the 9th. Weirdly, uh... Yep, he's dead. The, uh... An anniversary of when I started making videos, actually. You can believe that shit. The first ever video I made was uploaded, uh... What the fuck? Oh, you have clones, I see. The very first video I ever made was uploaded, uh... My birthday, 2011. God, this will be the 10 year anniversary, actually, of me making videos. And I have nothing to show for it, except, like, you know, half a dozen people that watch me on Twitch. Couple hundred YouTube subs, none of whom actually watch my content, but you know. It's the journey, not the destination, right? I've had fun these 10 years doing this. Real sick of your shadow jutsu here. Eh, Hammersley, get fucked. One less of you. 111 shillings! Holy shit! Thanks, buddy. Hey, there's Penguin. Speak of the devil. I am one of those YouTube subs who doesn't actually watch your content. You watch my streams. You don't need to watch the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is really only there to archive streams. Although, I have decided that, um... Hey, buddy. After this playthrough, I'm gonna start doing, uh... In an attempt to attract more viewers, uh... Start making highlights of my playthroughs. I used to, I start, I tried, bleh, words. I tried doing monthly highlights, but I kind of, things came up and it made it so I was really kind of inconvenient to do monthly highlights, uh, just time-wise. I had other shit going on. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. All this time, I'm going the wrong way. How embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do highlights of uh, the games I play, so... You know, like, this would be our 40 minute long highlight video, uh, in theory. I decided it, like, halfway through this series, and I was like, alright, so next playthrough, I'm gonna start doing highlights of my videos, so that, you know, if you want to see the best of, uh, my nonsensical ramblings, you can just watch those and get the gist of it. There's gotta be something over here, right? Well, there is. A couple of things. Oh, this is where I came to, like, find the people that were spying on her way back in the beginning. Uh, if I don't respond right away, there's some delay for me. Ah, well, that's fair, Kenochi. I was only, uh, bringing you up as, uh, examples of, uh, reoccurring viewers. Highlights, just an edit of all the times Jiro showed up on screen. I'm not doing a blue dragon highlight. I'm not even doing a vampire highlight. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna start next stream. I'm gonna go. Despite my better leveling, I don't feel like fighting three of you at once. Especially when it's the guy screaming about the power of the Lord. Why are there so fucking men? I guess I'm in your territory, aren't I? That's where McCollum is. Play Blue Dragon Disc 3. I did that already. That was literally the finale. It was the last disc I played. Remember when games came on discs? Well, they still come on discs. Remember when they came on multiple discs? God, what a time. This is unfortunate. The gate's closed because the game decided, you know, fuck you for wanting to just run past everything. Which, I mean, fair enough, but still. God, you're... Ugh, I'm killing you. I'm gonna fight this guy. At the very least, I can get rid of the other one. There we go. So yeah, hopefully the, uh, the highlights will, uh, bring in some more people. I'll tweet them out, you know? Put them on YouTube. Increase of content. That'll, uh, again, hopefully drive up viewership. We still need a sixth party member. For what? Oh, for Blue Dragon. Did we have a fifth? Who was it? Oh yeah, it was the three kids, uh, Pikachu and the weirdly sexy girl. Sundari pirate who was really into uh, King Sam Regal. 
And I mean, who wouldn't be? Temporarily betrayed us, only to not betray us? Wasn't the sixth party member, though, like, unofficially, uh... What's his name? That robot with the mustache who was, like, a real pain in the ass boss. I played through that whole game on Xbox and got three fucking achievements, I think. It was, uh, it was not good. I'm glad I had an alt account for that. Don't want that on my gamer card. If I completed it, it'd be a real feather in my cap on the old gamer card, but it would take like a million hours to complete. Poor Dalnakot has all 15 gamer score that Blue Dragon netted him. So McCollum's just hanging out in the middle of the graveyard, huh? All right. A bit odd, but sure there, McCollum. Sure. You do if McCollum you. McCollum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient. Did you hear me? me? Shit. My bad. Also, no, I didn't. Um, more to the point, though. Why was he drinking King Arthur's blood? Like, what would that do for him? Was the idea it would, like... Make him strong against my blood? Because if he's a human, that shouldn't have done anything. Remember games coming on multiple discs, though rather vaguely, I should say. It's been many years since I bought a game disc. Ah, I uh, bought a game disc not that long ago. I have, um... Actually, it's right... Uh, well, not the disc, but the... Uh, uh, the box came in. Been playing, uh... Can't really see for the old ring light, but that's uh, Hitman 3. <sighs> a uh, great game. Love it. The DLC for it, probably the best part. It's just the other two games. It's pretty great, actually. It's like, here's Hitman, and for expo expanded bonus content, here's the other Hitmans. <laughs> oh yeah, fair enough. Find McCollum's. Somewhere in here is McCollum. For many years since I bought a disc of any kind. I like physical games. For blood. Yeah, he just watched me eat a rat and didn't give a shit. Ha! Stealth. I don't know where I'm going. I don't remember this graveyard layout. How do I zoom in? There we go. Okay, so... Ah, I gotta swing around down here. In that case, I am going the wrong way. No! No, you don't see one. When do we save Bella? Who? I don't even get that one. Which one's Bella? Oh, for, go, just fuck off, all of you. Fucking nine of you. Also, did he say fire waltz with me? Sick fucking Twin Peaks reference, bro. Kinda. But yeah, the, the games that leap into my brain of uh, have them on multiple CDs. L.A. Noir, well, keep in mind, PS3 had Blu-ray technology, so this isn't exactly true for PlayStation 3 games. But on the Xbox, it still only had access to DVD. Mass Effect 2, L.A. Noir, uh, Blue Dragon. Um, those are the main ones that I can think of on Xbox. I have Final Fantasy 7 and 8, Legend of the Dragoons. Those were all on multiple CDs. I assume McCollum is the here. Oh, Jeffrey. Now well, that's the old sister's grave. Jeffrey. Huh, I'll be damned. He's not in the obvious spot. When do we save Bella? Yeah, not a clue what you're referencing with that one. That one's lost on even me. Bella who? All I can think of is Christabella from Silent Hill, but that can't be right. Wrong way, wrong way. Uh, oh, is he back? Uh, was I going the right way the first time there? Or is he up this way somewhere? He could be in that church, I guess. Uh, it's technically in the ring. He was in... He was there in the square, was he? Doesn't appear to be. Surely he'd pop up on my... Oh. Oh! Hey! Wow, missed you entirely, buddy. I was like, huh, he's not, I figured he'd be in the middle. 
What are you doing being all... That is you, right? Yeah. What are you doing being all morose over there? I was, I was looking around like, huh, I guess he's not here. Next thought was the church. Sorry I killed like five guys on the way here. Very rude of me. Good evening, vampire hunter. Are you here to end me, leech? Nah. You'll find I will not be killed easily. Need a not favor, a actually. McCullum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Hi, intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the I'm blood John. of the king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. He needs the blood of the king. Doesn't he know there's like six in chat right now? Hey! Yeah, that was the joke. Ah. The guard yeah, kings. And precious relic. Why would you? <laughs> uh, Thought his name was Ethan Winters. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. Uh-huh. I want to. But I must know more. All right, that's fair. What precisely are your plans? Well, I'm going to... I cannot tell you. Gee, I don't think that's gonna sell him on this whole strategy there, Johnny. Well, his name is Ethan Winters. No, that's the guy from Heavy Rain. Ah. Uh. Uh, I can stop the epidemic. I must stop a disaster. Being a vampire hunter, I think he'd care more about the disaster than the epidemic, per se. Like, maybe I could pe appeal to his humanity with this, but I think this is probably the correct answer. A creature called a disaster is about to be unleashed. It falls upon me, as once it did Marshall to stop it before the whole country is ravaged. I should have destroyed that book. And yet, I wish I could join this battle alongside you. But this crusade is not mine to fight. Why? Do you understand, we wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Doctor. Rest assured, I'm already damned. Hey! Anyway, um... Well, thanks. Don't see why it's not your fight, other than, you know, gameplay reasons. Um... What was I gonna say? Uh... I can't even remember. It was something about his, uh, his vampire crusade. Um, right, right, right. Shouldn't he, like... He keeps saying I should have destroyed that book. Shouldn't he have, like, read that and been like, Holy shit, there's a cure for vampires? And, like, gone out of his way to start trying to make one? Surely the ability to completely eliminate the vampire curse is better than just killing them all. At least isn't going to be bothering you. Well, that's fair. Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? Why not indeed? Why, you know what? Why come here? Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. Oh. He's buried here. That sounds like a lot. And who was... Just to unpack, Carl I mean. Eldritch. Never heard... Oh, actually, I have heard of him. Of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me. Father! Help me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me. How to <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, what's your brother's name? Ain. No, it's Ian. Alright, Ian. What the hell kind of a name is Ain spelled that way? Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. And yet worse. Sounds like they were killed my by Carl. returned to Dublin a vampire. Dublin! I tore out my mother's throat. Oh, well, that's. I hate when that happens. Anyway. Uh, sad. Bye. Adieu, vampire hunter. Until we meet again. He has a name. Good drinker. Uh, okay, well, if you're just gonna be rude to each other. Alright. That's that. Two out of three. Pretty easy. I mean, the penicillin was always gonna be easy. I, wor I live out of a fucking hospital, but still. Uh, gotta get to West End now. Fucking really? I just came from a. Oh. 
boss is going to be so mad at me. Greg, I, I don't want to kill this guy, but he won't leave me alone. If you could, like, vouch for me to some of your higher-ups, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Well, what are you going to do, right? Look, if you want the gun to work, you're going to have to come closer, all right? I get it. I have a sword and teeth. You don't want to get close, but, like, you're embarrassing us both, sir. All right. I'm just going to go. You clearly uh, are having a time of it. Won't let me warp over there. Oh, hey! You can use the stairs. I'll be damned. Who'd have thought? Not I. It's not a vampire cure, not strictly speaking. What is it, then? It sounded like it was a cure based on, you know, descriptions and whatnot. The guy was like, I'll take this swig of garlic and be free of this awful curse. Ah, home sweet home. Uh, didn't get any more watery blood samples. Still missing the, uh, the critical William Marshall blood. Gonna bet old Redgrave is not, you know, they're gonna be the most helpful with that, given I uh, did murder one of his buddies. Or as far as he's concerned, murder one of his buddies. Don't have nearly enough blood to be bothering to level up. Are you? You are, guy. Okay. Well. This is gonna be awkward. Uh. Whee! Look at it! Vicious Yeah, how vicious am I running away? Woe be unto those in my way. For they know only the sting of looking at my sweet backside. Oh yeah, this woman. I forgot completely about the flower woman who's mute. There's a lot of NPCs in this game. Is that you? Might have been you, honestly. Yeah, you're doing remarkably well given the circumstances. Let's cure up enough for vampirism. Oh. Hmm. Cure for the, uh, what is it, what is he calling it? A disaster, I think. Uh, sorry there, Clayton. I never found the final, like, recipe, which is super annoying. I can't cure things like migraines and sepsis. Wonder where it was hiding this whole time. Fatigue. I can cure fatigue. You are blinded by your false hey, buddy. Good evening, Mr. Whittaker. Mr. Whittaker. So, yeah, yeah, I'm still lost or whatever. There you I have go. Had enough, but... What what if I just don't want sepsis? How about that? You're not clean. I can see you have sepsis. Cheap maybe, but you know. I can't really speak on that. My vampire vision doesn't tell me that. I'm every vendor in the video game Fable. Shout out to Fable 2. That has a weird history on my channel, by the way. I have tried to play Fable 2 twice for YouTube, and it has gone wrong every time. The video files get corrupted. Uh, it, I just can't upload it. It's It's a nightmare played that game twice for YouTube, neither time did I finish it. I think the more recent attempt is on YouTube. I deleted the older videos because, you know, I was in high school when I made them. Cure for a disaster, one that's related to vampires and vampirism, but the cure itself isn't for cure. Okay, well, it is what it is. Pneumonia. Can't cure that either, Bates. Batesy boy. How do I get to... Looks like down this way. Cold, I can cure that. Hey! By the way, met your blind friend, Indeed. brother, whatever. I'd like to. No, I. Sorry, I. Uh, Goody. Just need to. Uh, yeah, give me this cold medicine. Uh, tell me about since why the hell not? I'm here. Why do you feel so guilty about your brother? I don't expect him to forgive me. 
All I can do is make amends for what I did. You could start by him a crook, actually a apologizing. What if somebody decides to make him pay for your scam? Mason is totally capable of defending himself. Just leave us be. Well, that seems... Perfectly fine. All right, well... This place may be in an institution. Uh, I don't, I don't know. The man's know just blind. Feels between a brother and sister. Oh yeah, I do. Are you sure you're not trying to ease your own wounds? Mason wants to be useful. Can you understand that? And chemistry is his passion, and the Swanborough Cordial gives him a purpose in life. Okay, but he is blind, so it is a little bit odd that you're having him do chemistry. Surely he'd like fuck it up on occasion. Goodbye, Miss. Just. Swanborough. Statistically speaking, we'll talk again. He's blind again. When science fails you, this elixir will give you faith you again. You just said he was doing chemistry. What the fuck? When science fails you, indeed. Not how do I? There we go. Zooming in. Well, either way, we'll not quite that way. We go this way. Is something? Nah, it's a toolbox. Make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, yep, okay. Please be open. It's gonna be a long walk. Oh, god damn it. And of course, I can't fucking get over this. I don't even need to be a vampire to get over this. Hop up on these planks and just. Oh. John, you're killing me. You are killing me, Johnny boy. I have to go around this way, I guess. All right. Should have opened that when I had the opportunity, I guess. The game's world does remind me a tad. Uh, if anyone's ever played Deus Ex, not the original, the uh, human revolution one. Maybe Mankind Divided. I never played that one. But uh, it reminds me a touch of that, except it's much larger, and I do think it kind of suffers as a result. Because in Deus Ex, the maps, there were there was more than one map, uh, like cities and towns you could go exploring in. Uh, they were much smaller, so as a result, um... Oh shit, ah, f listen, I don't want to fight your minions here, Finley. Hold this. Uh, I feel like as a result of the group of smaller maps, uh, Human Revolution made better space or use of it, if that makes any sense. Fuck off with your clones. Always with the clones, you guys. Can you not? I'm trying to heal. I'm gonna kill the whole fucking Ascalon society before I even get to do what's his face, Redgrave over here. It does make sense. Okay. I really enjoyed Human Revolution. I've uh, kind of wanted to go and play Mankind Divided, but uh, it's just one of those I never got around to. Game came and went, and I had other things to do. I wasn't really. It came out count. Blech. A shit fight. 112 shillings, though, I'll take that. It came out when I wasn't really big into gaming at the time. I, uh. There was that period uh, of college where I didn't really have, uh. Like a decent PC and I didn't bring my consoles with me. So, uh. I wasn't big into gaming when Human Revolution. Fuck. When Mankind Divided dropped. I'll open you. Is that. Okay, yes, making progress. That's where I need to go. Bio okay, it's just influenza. But yeah, the uh you had like New York? Chicago? Something for uh Detroit? It was Detroit. Human Revolution had you in Detroit. Uh you went to China and That might have been it. It might have just been Detroit and China. You went there a couple times, but uh yeah, by having the two maps like that that you explored, I feel like the NPCs were a lot stronger, and, uh... 
the, uh... It did a lot more. It had, like, buildings where you could sneak around in. That's gameplay at that point, though. But, uh... Yeah, the two distinct maps being Detroit and China, I feel like, uh made the game a bit stronger than this one big map where everything's connected. It's got the districts and everything, but, you know. It's still clearly one big map. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't see you there. Wouldn't have bothered. Don't want to fight you. You've got far too much health, and your weird sunbeams are just kind of annoying overall. Right, we're here. I couldn't find the guy's manor for the longest time here. Oh, don't tell me the way back is... Please, just... Don't make me go through the sewers. Just let me go through there, please. This door right here. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. West End. Now I just uh, swing around this way. Are you another one of the Ascalons? No, you're just some shadow echoing. Hello. Might as well fight. We're gonna have to. What are you weak to there, champ? Swords? Great. Hold this. Swords and blood. My lucky day. God, what the shadow clones? How do I get shadow clones? Everyone but me has shadow clones. I went to the bathroom, and you know what? It was the fucking bathroom attendant, a shadow clone, and the guy I met at the bakery. God's sakes. Feel left out. That's apparently a place I can go. Aw, dress shopping for the waifu the game's clearly setting me up with. Although I gotta say, that dress in the middle, I think, is kind of missing the important bits to cover, if you know what I mean. Like... Don't get me wrong, power to women, it's a tits-out kind of dress. Bold of them to just display it, though, in the shop window so prominently. Like, come on, guys. What are you doing? It's 1920, 1917, something. Very forward of them. Even by today's standards, in my opinion. Uh, actually, that's not quite the way I want to go. Do I want to go this way? Uh, kinda? Yeah, okay. I want to go this way. Through the gate. Hello. Pearl and feather. Flying horse tobacco? Terrible name for a brand of tobacco. Simply dreadful. So I should now be in, uh... Yeah, right. Here's Lord Redgrave's Whose territory. Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. Neuralgia. Anemia. I can't heal any of this crap. Again, I just... Women of all countries unite. Could you, like... Have you considered doing this during the day? Okay, well... And maybe not in front of the Ascalon Society, who, like, on record doesn't care for women. What about you? Neuralgia. Ah, everyone's got neuralgia. Huh. Well, that's telling, isn't it? Alright, can't go in there. And not around the sides. Okay. Alright, if I was Lord Redgrave, I guess I'd go around back. Who knows, maybe I can get him to see reason. Big old sexist that he is, maybe he's just, uh, willing to at least, I don't know, spare me a drop of blood. Hi, we haven't met, and it's the end of the game. How are you? Good evening, miss. I am... I am... Karina Billow. <laughs> Buy the dress for him. The rats. He doesn't have the hips for it. Are the rats? Miss. You... No. It's me who bites them. Taste okay. Personal question. Really? I need a hint for this. You've got sepsis. Well. Ah. I must. Bye. You're clearly 
not well in the old noggin. Uh, let's see, let's see. Well, here we go. Back gates unlocked, always a great sign. Yoo-hoo, Redgrave. Avon calling, or the breasts. Well, eh, hard to say. Redgrave wears a lot of padding, you see. Those suits, man, they're thick. They cover a lot. But you can tell he doesn't have the hips for it. I'm still persona non grata in the yeah. Ascalon Club. If Gee. I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise. Improvise how? By the way, you've killed like two of the six, maybe five members. So like three, four at best, if you count Redgrave, are still kicking around. Now it was Redgrave... I think it was... Yeah, I was like the sixth dude, because there were like two pairs of people, and Redgrave and Aloysius. So, yeah, you got like three members left, Redgrave. You really want to like do this dance with me? Love what you've done with the place, by the way. Oh, well, I guess you do want to do this dance, huh, buddy? Which one are you? Ow. You don't even get a name. Oh, you're the butler! Right, right. The butler. Well, uh, bang. Well, no damage, huh? Uh, love when the game does that. Bang? Nope, still no damage. How about bang? Okay, one damage. One out of three bullets. Ah! Thought I had the stake out. That one's on me. All right, you fucking suck. You know that? I mean, I guess you're a good butler. You're doing a great job here, but still. I got stuck on a fucking hat box or something right there. Oop. Missed. That was embarrassing. Nobody look. There we go. Ah. Drain some toe. Oh, tasty blood from him. Always nice. Heal up a bit. Hold still, you. Maybe I should combine the hold still you with the bullets. Then the game can't be like, oh, his defenses were up or whatever the fuck's going on when I shoot him and I don't actually do damage. Some music would be appropriate, I guess. Quiet, you. Bang. Well, nope, that did no damage. It showed him, like, flinching, therefore I hit him, clearly. Just no damage was done to him, obviously. God, we could just do this dance forever, couldn't we, guy? Absolutely dodged, but okay. There we go. Oh, okay, alright. That, that one... Okay. A dance back and forth. This guy's stronger than stronger. This guy's stronger than Fergal. Why the hell wasn't he going out doing Ascalon's dirty work? Busy buttling, I suppose. You know what butlers do. Uh oh. Yep, I'm out of stamina. I got that. Just healing. Don't mind me. Okay, well, guess you got that one. Oh, hey. Okay, call that one a draw. Oh, 
Hold this. Really hate that blood shield that the Ascalons love so much. Because they just don't take damage from it. And I think that's what's happening with the gun and everything as well. He has like this... Yeah, that. He has this crazy blood shield up that he takes no damage from. And I know I could have gotten one too, I guess. Still, it's super annoying that they get one. You can get the... Yeah, yeah, I know. Bit late for that. I sort of like my powers the way they are. That said, the AI can fucking cool it on them. If I were to change... Well, been over the combat plenty. Take a drink every time I mention the fucking combat in this game. Definitely something worth changing is I would not let the AI be able to use that shield. All it does is make the fights last longer and it's just kind of arbitrary. It's just not terribly fun to fight against. And at the end of the day, that's what a video game is normally supposed to be. There's some exceptions. But generally speaking, you want a video game to be fun. And fighting against guys that you can't damage isn't fun. Which is kind of dull, really. Especially, especially when it costs me ammo to fucking do. Just impress him into submission with your sick combos. Ugh. You have a couple takeaways from the old, uh... What was the game? God, what even was it? Saga Frontier? What a game. What a fucking game. You know, guys, I don't think there's ever gonna be a game quite like Saga Frontier on the stream again. 7-9 can try his damnedest to throw weird games my way. Saga Frontier is just... Real hard to beat. He's rogue, okay. When I'm done killing this butler, if fucking Redgrave is like, oh, it's so hard to find good help these days, I'm gonna fucking stab him. I don't care what the game's options are. I'm gonna find a way to kill him. Maybe I can, like, blackmail him with his secret of, like, ooh, I know you can't make Ascola or S. Scal fuck. Echons, thank you. I know you can't make Echons. Red grave. And if you don't give me what I want, I'm gonna tell everyone. And he'll be like, oh no. Not everyone. I know some of those people. Can you? Cool, got stuck on this fucking knocked over hat stand. So he healed. Super appreciated game. The dodge in this game. Beautiful stuff. You turn into Shadow Mist and dart everywhere, but you still get stuck on furniture. That, you know, a human could just step over. Can you cool your jets, butler man? God, I hate you. Oh my Christ. Saga Frontier was quite a game. It's true. No one can ever take that claim away from it. It was quite a game. Game Gameplay-wise, uh, great game. Oh yeah, the gameplay was... I mean, it wasn't anything special. It was a JRPG, but, you know, it was alright. Perfectly functional game, gameplay-wise. It was fun seeing, you know, tiny pixelated sprite women do rolling cradles and suplexes on enemies. That was great. Especially when the enemies were, like, dinosaurs and shit. Story on their hand was all over the place and not in a good way. No, but it was at least interesting. You can't call Saga Frontier boring, so at the very least, dab. Boop! Okay. Uh, am I cool yet? Am I hip with the kids? Anyway. 
Hey, uh, Redgrave, I killed your butler. You're not even here? Ugh. Redgrave. God. Figured you were just upstairs. Oh. You're down there? Why? Alright, well, I'll come to you. Don't fucking get up or anything. Just killed your butler. Probably one of your best friends and only friends in the world. Along well, with two members of your society? Uh... You're kind of kind of slim pickings now in terms of uh, members. Hey, Redgrave. Oh, you're over there. Hey, Redgrave. How's it going? Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing We're here? We're quite traitor? cordial, aren't we? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far. But the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Oh, good. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Well, yeah. Are you mad? That's... His blood is the purest of all. Yeah. My maker profited it to me on the battlefield. Well... I cannot hand it to you. Just need a drop. Uh... Cease this farce. Do I shame the man? Don't know if he'd be willing to help me if I shamed him. You know, if you just, like, greeted me when I came in the back door, your butler would still be alive. Just saying, you know. Coulda, coulda. Alright, whatever. Uh, does he care about the city? He does, he does. He's a, he's a Londoner at heart. I might appeal to that. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity... Easy to convince. I suppose I can spare you a drop. That's Thank all you, I need. Lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. Well, yeah. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. You are a flip-floppy bastard, you know that? You greeted me with, like, what are you doing, traitor, and ended with, well... I cannot enter. Good luck! The city lies in your hands. By the way, your butler's dead. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Maybe, uh... Maybe, uh, you know. Fi find a new one. I'm, I'm gonna go. It's awkward now. There's no one to see me out. This this place sucks now because there isn't a butler. Just saying, get one. <sighs> rat blood is not as potent or tasty as human source. Well, there's my answer on why he keeps talking shit about the rat blood. Alrighty. Is it? Oh, I thought it was raining red, and I was like, huh? It's just rain reflecting in this here thing. Find a hideout to create an antidote. You bet. Hey, I can do that at home, actually. Right over here. Good stuff. Reed's Mansion. I still don't have enough experience after all that to even bother leveling up, to be honest. I mean, I could take a look, I guess, what harm will it be. But first, let's craft this bad boy. Alrighty. The antidote, a serum created by following the Tears of Angels recipe with insulin instead of garlic to enhance protection against disasters infection. I mean, surely that'll protect against the human part of the disaster, which I am sure it once was, but... Now again, I thought the garlic was sort of like the, uh, to protect against the vampiric element, which, you know, I'm not sure penicillin will do. Or insulin, excuse me. Penicillin might not be a thing yet, historically speaking. The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. Ah, here we go. Guinea Pig, Chapter 6. Let's see if I can't level myself. Uh, what would I want? Probably bite draining, right? Faster regen, hard biting. Now, the amount I get from... Yeah, that's health. Probably health, honestly. Fortunately, I can afford that. Not much else, though, so... 
Oh shit, I just canceled out. My bad. Cancel out of it. Excuse me. Pardon moi. There we go. That ah, puts me at level 31 as well. Good stuff. You can't you can't see it right now, but trust me, it's it's 31. You'll see it in a second. The following night. Yeah, well. Ooh, hostile, huh? Well. They seemed nice enough. There you go, level 31. Alright. Whoops, the sewers. All the way down there. And there's an event. I can finally go see what these events are all about that I've been ignoring over on the western docks. Sure, why not? Finally time to go do something about it. They were just never in my way, you know? I didn't feel like going all the way to the West Docks to see what the hell the events were. Alrighty. Let me be on my way. The best way is... Down around and through that way. Huh? All right. So that's the front door. Want to go this way? Yeah, more or less. Ah. And then this way. Yes! Okay, alright. Look at me with a sense of direction all of a sudden. And uh, up through there. Alrighty. Door's been unlocked. Excellent. We are now at the North Docks. Critical, you say? Well, eh. But that was a horse. Not the body, obviously. Oh, pfft, 24. Psh. Psh. Psh, I say. Sounded like a horse. I was like, I didn't know there were horses in this game. What? Oh, hi. What level are you? 24. Psh. Easy. Take whatever that is. Lead rod and shillings. Well, I could have used those lead rods earlier, I guess. Shut up. Give me that. Alrighty. Those events are mainly just side quests, memory serves. Uh, you sure won't be checking them out uh, if you aren't going to do them. Like, it's stretching content at this point. Well, I mean, I want to at least see what one is, and I mean, fuck, it's on the way, isn't it? So I might as well. I might not do it, but I might as well see what it's about. This place is ripe with loot. Should have come here earlier. If only the game had told me there was, like, events here or something. I'm sure they're fine over there. Yelling about leeches and murder and all that. Hey, buddy. Big guy over there. Well, you're, uh, oh, pfft. easy. Oh, shh, shh. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Him and his sculpted butt don't see me. Solid damage there, John. Oh, rats. Wondered what, what, I was wondering about that. Uh, now where is it? Uh, this way? Yes. It looks like, uh, well, it's sort of sealed off, is it? There's this. Can I open this? Yes, hello. Hi. Now where am I? Uh, oh, it was back in there. Like I said, I want to at least see what it's all about. Hello. Alright, well 
Well, that was easy. Uh, I'm in the complete wrong area. Excuse me, it's over here somewhere. Oh, up there, maybe. Uh huh. Sort of. I'm closer. Dead body. Damn shillings. Uh, well, with the watery blood samples, I think I can, uh... No. It was one water blood sample. Well, I've got healing if I need it. But honestly, with the blood potions and, uh, everything else I've got, eh, seems unlikely. But, you know, better safe than sorry. Is the event's over this way? Oh, I don't know if I can get in there. It looks like it's, uh... In Dawson and Dawson's manufacturing. I wonder if that Dawson fellow will be somebody who shows up later in the game. Huh. Okay, the, the way ends up here. I was gonna say, I can't find a way in. Never mind, no event for me. Events down here. Oh, this is... Yeah! The Preacher was here, who went mad, and I kind of probably should have killed or something. Or at least done more investigation before I, uh, ultimately decided his fate. Hello? Hello? Why, did, why is this here? Okay. I don't know why that's there, but whatever. What on earth happened here? Ho! Oh. Ah, yeah. Thinking I should have killed him. Really thinking I should have killed that guy. Okay. All right. Well, how could I have known? I mean, really, it's not like there was a red flag or anything. Uh-oh, Sean. What are we doing? Ooh. He turned. Got it. Hey, Sean. gonna put you down, Sean. Wasn't a red flag, dude. It was a cavalcade of red... No, we can't know that. I got Sean's cross. Oh, good. And a rusted key. He definitely killed the women that were hanging around here. And the drunkard. No doubt about it. Ms. Paxton, I recently heard that Hampton shelter for months, money of support, positive answer from you. Boys always get what they accept no for an answer. Keep on refusing and the wet boot boys will come for you. And you well, yeah, uh-huh, I'll get right on talking to Lolly about that as soon as I find her corpse. Probably over where the, you know what? Let's, let's for the record, follow the blood, shall we? Just, you know. Why not? Take a look down here. Ooh. Yeah, this is, uh... This is grim. Well, that's not anyone I recognize, so that's nice at least. I got 350 shillings for it, so, you know. Worth it? A lot of blood samples as well. A lot of blood samples, actually. Well, everyone's dead. Okay. Really, really hoped he would, you know, stay the path of, you know, truth there and not fall to, uh fall to his base desires. Um, so, uh, what would have happened if I had just killed him? If 
if I had embraced him and just murdered the poor bastard. How would that have played out? Like, how would that possibly have been any worse for this district? Riddle me that. What could have possibly happened that would have been worse? It's locked. Shut it's up. It's locked, all right. Yep, it's locked. I hate you. You and your locks. Use your vampire blood to break the damn thing. I should go. Before anyone realizes this is my fault. Ah. So out of curiosity, are all the events going to be like, uh, here's some closure for the fuck-ups you've made? Because that's probably, uh... That's the bar, right? Maybe? Or is, no, the bar's down there. The turquoise turtle. No idea what these will be. Eh. Why bother? They're only gonna depress me, right? With my own hauntings and failures. Someone's having a go at it. I don't see him anywhere, though. I see you guys. Uh, how do I get back to... It's not this way. This way? It suggests it's this way. Yeah, it certainly suggests it's this way, where I'm trying to get to. Uh... How do I get back there, though? What the hell? I was just over there. Can I hop up there? Oh, do I have to go all the way back around? Ugh, Christ alive. That would suck. Worse no, but less people dead. Crazy lunatic not running around. Ah, oh, you know, just just that, huh? Alright. Didn't didn't miss too much then, huh? Is what you're saying. It's locked, alright. It's locked, all right. Ugh, yeah, yeah, it's all locked. Ugh, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Unless there's a way out up here, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Does not look it. That's a fucking... Poor design is what that is. What the hell was that? No, I came from the north docks. Hold on. Came from here. Swing around. How did I get over here? a hideout and everything, but how did I get there? Because I came from this way. Swing around. How do I get over here? It's off the map. Through the building it must be, right? It's gotta be through the building. I have to go through the... Ugh! Fine, alright. Don't know where the sewers are in this area, though. Uh, must be over here, right? Down this way. Yeah, there's, there's blood here. Yeah, yeah. Well, up. Oh. Hold on, I found one of your notes. Uh, Vampire Hunter Fraud. Some of our scouts recently spotted the presence of a certain Ichabod Throgmorton near the East End docks. You've probably see him patrolling the place at night, claiming he's a specialist of vampire extermination. Man is a fraud, not even a real con man, for he does not charge anyone for the work, but he clearly has no clue what he's talking about. If he ever approaches you or for some joint hunter collaboration, refuse and let him go. In a leech fight, the man is nothing more than bait. No civilians allowed, sir. Alright, jeez. At least they didn't have it out for the guy, I guess. You're mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold that. Boy, they go down quick when they don't have resistance to your swords, let me tell you. 
It's down at the east docks, huh? Access to sewers. Uh, I don't know where that is. That's the problem. You'd think it'd be around here somewhere. Probably down here somewhere, now that I think about it. Looking for the sewers. You guys know any, uh, know anything about that? I seem to recall it was, like, under... Uh, I mean, under a bridge makes sense, right? Or down around here. It was, uh... Maybe this one? Oh, it was here. So if I go through here, I can reach the other side. Well, I mean, I'm right here. I might as well look at the other fucking, uh... Ill-formed, dazed skull. Interesting. Ah, the explodey, poisony bit. Who could forget? Might as well look at the other event while I'm here. Am I stretching content? Probably a little, honestly, but, you know. Do you mind? I'm actually somewhat enjoying this game when I'm not, you know, getting my ass beat every combat encounter. So, it looks like there's an event. Oh! Hi, guys! Really sorry. Really, really sorry. You have a lot of health, actually. I definitely should have killed that guy. I'm really sorry, Lottie. Feel like this is at least partially my fault. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I said a number of times they don't hunt or hurt humans. Yeah, I suppose. Still, though. At least they're like, the man's just a nuisance. Ignore him. Right, so hopefully I can cut through these sewers and reach the other end. I mean, it does look like it's somewhat of a straight shot from here to the other side. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. Game's making me feel all guilty about not killing a guy. Or, you know, examining his dialogue enough to find the third option. Which would be, I don't know, keep praying? Do better? Kill yourself? I don't know what it would have been. Something that I assume doesn't involve Lottie dead and her sister and the drunk guy. I never opened that. Guess I didn't. It's locked. Huh. <sighs> it means I have to do the puzzle again. Great. Unless it's already done. Please. Well, I don't see anything down here. Is it done over here? It is! Oh, alright. That's nice. This is where I fought Fergal. Reach the hive. Oh! That's where I'm going. The hive. God, it would have been way faster to go through the fucking factory. God damn it, I'm an idiot. In fact, I think they said they closed this gate. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to go back through this and go to the factory, aren't I? Or the old, uh, the night asylum and go down that way. Ugh. God, why didn't I just read the description? I know where the hive is. God almighty, I'm stupid. Bad at video games, guys. That's me. I don't know why people watch me. Xbox 20th anniversary stream is happening and you're watching this schmuck be terrible at video games. Hell, I am this schmuck terrible at video games. What am I doing? At the very least, they're going to let me in, right? They're not... It's not fully locked over here. I think it might be fully locked over... Oh, no, wait! Uh, I, uh... I remember. I, uh... I just hopped over that. I meant to just drop down. Whee! Right, and I fought Fergal in here. And, uh... See, his body's been moved. And, uh... 
exited this way. There was this mine shafty kind of area. Yeah, I remember this. I remember being like, oh, which way do I go? Because I'm the worst at everything. And then the doors open? Oh, everyone's dead. This place has been ransacked. Yep, okay, well. This isn't good. Yoo-hoo! been slaughtered. Prewen. No, not their style. Then who? Haskellon? It couldn't have been Sean. There's no way that one guy, like, Lottie fair enough. There's no way that one guy took everyone in here Where down. Where has Harriet gone? Jesus. She must have left a trail I could follow. Well, I mean, I could follow the blood, hope for the best. Oh, did Harriet fucking... She might, uh... She might have snapped. It's awkward that it's back the way I came. Harriet Jones, yep. Maybe. Yeah, this is back the way I came. Yeah, but I'm following the blood trail, aren't I? Besides, I didn't go this way. This is all hot, fresh, and new. Where is old Bridget? Damn. If I'd come earlier, they would still be alive. Yeah, well... Ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd have a Merry Christmas, wouldn't we, John? Finsbury Park Reservoir. This is... I was gonna say, ominous. Hey, guy. Antlers Magoo over here. We ready to finally meet in person? Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. What do you mean? I have the you, thing. At last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Yes. Yeah. Child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land. Why not? Due preparation. I shall not allow it. What do you mean? All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lake. They haven't. You seem unwilling to drink. Are we really doing a fucking dialogue tree right here at the end? God damn, dude. I'm ready for the climax. What's with the dialogue tree? What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. A blood phantom of antlers? You're made of blood? Yeah, what? Blood. You are made of blood. Surely you are joking. Don't call I me Shirley. Me. And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Oh. Blood is what I am. Why it's antlers then? And for eternity. What's with the antlers? But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. Ugh. I have many names. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Murden Wild, the okay. Wild Old Man. Murden. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned that. Okay, why me? Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern scientific answer to this ancient mystical Swansea. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate, vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. Seems like I should go and do something about that then, and not just jibber-jabber with you over here. Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this.
this land. Ah, it's all one big Smokey the Bear metaphor. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corrupt... Uh, stay hydrated. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's Water. mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Okay. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. Sounds like it'll be a pain to fight. Let's do this. Oh, for God's sakes. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star. For they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. We have a vampire queen, or is there a blood queen, or is there a star? What the hell? And who is this queen? She is the red goddess. Okay. The queen, queen of, of blood. blood. Got it. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. Uh, okay. She is my mother. She is yours. Like the King Arthur Morrigan? The Morrigan. The Celtic goddess of war. Or that one. Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension. Yeah, I kind of get what, uh... But know this. kind of get what Spiral Power was talking about when he was like, uh... Seems like they set up a lot for the sequel that's never going to happen. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood. These guys are too busy making uh, money with Life is Strange games. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Alright, well, you're back to the Tell riddles, I see. Is, in your own you know that's just going to be a riddle. Is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. She probably shouldn't do that then. Why do we worship her? What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. That's Morgana. Oh. Uh, Morgana and, and Morrigan blood. are different, the I suppose. Will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. I don't want to spit in God's eye. I just want to, you know... I only Kill him a little to bit. Know how to put an end to this epidemic? That would be nice. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss. Okay. What do I do? I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. Failed. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. So if I had come here earlier, he'd be like, you can't go in until you do the last thing. I guess. Even though, what's her name, Harriet, wouldn't have been here? I don't know. Uh, what will happen then? What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me? Will there be a sequel, damn it? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all. You keep saying that. You keep saying you that. Are our final hope. Okay, that didn't answer the what will happen to me. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature. Yes. Oh, thank the Christ. Will dissipate like so much smoke. For you will have purified its source. Okay. And then what? What will become of me? Uh, How would I know? Yeah. I am no god, and your fate is in your own. Bro, I don't know. Fucking open a Mayo Clinic or something. Flip burgers for the rest of your life. I don't care. I'm, I mean, clearly you are, John. Have you been paying attention? I've been only listening to like 60% of this, and even I get that whether you want to be or not, you are by proxy their champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I think I so. Not even sure you can have this interaction with him until world. after you've made the antidotes and are on route to kill Jones. Oh, maybe. Champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice if you come here ahead of schedule. Like, come here before the antidote, maybe? 
Like, you know Harriet Jones is who you eventually need to go to see. So if you had, like, come here before the antidote, you might have found, like, the scene all, you know, bloodied and messed up only to be led here. And he's like, whoa there, go make the antidote first. Well, gee, I wonder which way she went. Who lit these candles? Okay, I get it. It's thematic. But really, who lit these candles? That's completely ridiculous. These? All right, fair enough. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. Someone could have come along and lit these. Sure. Even set up a light. There's no people down here except skulls and vampires. But I'll grant you, someone could have set up a light. Who the fuck lit those? Absolutely ridiculous. And where's my shadow? Oh. Alright, fair enough. Can't can't fault the game for that one. I do have a shadow. It's very nice. Harry Oh. Uh Hey girl. Oh, I'm sick. So sick. I've noticed. Help me. Please. Yep, definitely gonna. I'm in such pain. Quick question. What would have happened if I tried to kill her back at the hospital? Like, if I had gone to embrace her, what would have happened? Just out of curiosity. That's possible. I never tried to do that, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen if you come here before making the antidote. Yeah, I imagine you'd have stopped you. Assistance. Oh, I like your help, Doris. Liars. All of you. You asked for my help! <laughs> Well, maybe stop doing that also. That might be the water system you're vomiting into. Do you have a pipe in your arm? Okay, yeah. Gave me another chance. Mm -hmm. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? Yo, Resident Evil reference? Stop vomiting, please. I thought that would... We did put that in her. Whoa! Okay, alright, alright, alright. Hey, guess what she's weak to? It's guns! Hold still. Bang. Bang. Boy, the, uh... Final boss is suddenly not as threatening when I've got this shotgun. <laughs> You know, I thought it might take a little bit longer than this. Bang. Bang. Maybe there's another stage. Who knows? That'll be embarrassing for- Whoa! Me and my gun. Bang. Don't know, never tried to embrace her, and I'm sure you can. I mean, seems like it wrecked the game if you could. Uh, when she's still in the hospital, uh, her memorization level is higher than yours. Oh, that makes sense. Subtle. Doesn't tip the player off that she's the final boss. Well, that was a boss fight. Oh! Alright, I had that coming. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, no. Oh. Guys, there's another stage. Okay. I can't lock on? She's drowning me. Maybe. Okay, now I can- Whoa! Now I can lock on. Gee, you think? Turns out that still works, and she's super resistant to blood. Is anyone surprised? I'm not. Alright, that was, uh, that was the gun. She can't be stunned either? She's all blood. Why can't I just drink her? Uh-oh. Does this work even? Hold on, excuse me. Gotta heal. Does this work even? An old vampire... I mean, it stuns her. I'll take that. I should be careful. I can't, like, drink blood to heal here. 
That just occurred to me. I've got healing vials and vials of blood, but I can't, uh, I can't stun her and bite her in the neck. Which, you know, isn't fair. She's all blood. I should be able to just kind of lean down and take a sip, in my opinion. But what do I know, I guess? Ow. Alright, blood's back. You'll love to see that. Whoa! Such innocence. Such guilt. Ugh, you and your blood minions. Everyone gets clones but me. It's not fair, I tell ya. I better get sweet clone powers out of this, is all I'm saying. Whoa! Step away. Don't, don't know if that should have hit me. Just avoid the hell out of these guys. Let them explode. Hold this. Whoa! I chose a great time to do that. Okay, okay, alright. There isn't much, if any, gameplay left after this fight. Well, I mean, this will take me to about the two hour mark. Such Look, it's a Monday. You know, I had to go to work. I'm fine if it's a short stream. Would, wouldn't complain. Depending on what the game is, uh, might even start it. If it's one I need to get my hands on a copy of, eh, maybe not. If it's one I can just kind of, well, I think that's pretty much all of them. I need to install most of the games on that list. Feed your mother, child. Maybe don't feed the mother. Oh, fuck. Have we considered not feeding mom? Blood mom is not, you know, exactly the best, uh... Role model, in my opinion. Hold still. Whoa! Well, I don't know if that should have hit me. Okay. Oh, she has sickles. Ow. Who gave Blood Mom sickles? And why? I have questions, guys. Hold still, you. I tell you yesterday I have another game ready, just in case. There's so many games on that list, I can't install all of them in preparation. Wouldn't have any I ah, wouldn't have any space left. Hold still, damn it! Gotta get like one hit in with a. Fair enough. We'll see. Blood, feed me. Give me their lives. Shit, they don't actually feed- Oh shit, that's a lot of them. They actually feed her right now. They don't feed her. They just come after me. And do, do your thing where you try and hit me and it doesn't work. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Well, that wasn't too bad actually. Kinda thought that'd do more. Oh, that tickled. See ya, Blood Mom. Hold still, Blood Mom. I know she's the Red Queen's avatar, but, you know, Blood Mom rolls off the tongue, I think, a little bit better. And she keeps banging on about it. Being Blood Mom, so, you know. Figure you might as well lean into it, call her that. Dodge, Blood Mom. Hold still, damn it. Oh, you resisted that one, huh? Can't resist that. Whoa! Hey, hey all right, okay, all right, all right. Huh? 
Honestly, the, the blood pile that explodes is probably the most annoying attack she has. That and, you know, summoning 800 clones, but, you know, with a bit of, with a bit of, you know, well-timed dodges, they aren't too bad. Very manageable fight once I actually, you know, leveled up and everything. Uh-oh. And heal up. Okay. Hold still. This probably would have sucked if I was still woefully underleveled. Okay, well, let's not be rude here. We get it, you have blood spears. I do too. They're pretty cool, I agree. Well, okay, get get out, get away, get away. Alright, heal up. Love to see that. Get away from that. Really glad the minions just die on their own. Would be a real pain in the ass if they didn't. Alright. Oh, this again. Wish you'd stop doing that. Blood, feed me. This should tell you how, you know, important levels are, I guess, because, uh... Fuck, Doris and, uh... Gregory, or Jeffrey, or whatever his name is, were harder than this woman. Even with two stages. It would suck if you were super underleveled. Also, I think uh, Ma level is level 50. What? She's level 33, according to this. Oh, max level. Max level, I assume you mean. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. Okay, so. You've always been my most amusing son. My good here, or. And smile at us from your dreams. He's gonna like banish her or some shit. Mother? Okay, well. Have they suffered enough? Certainly have. Never, mother of us all. More than yeah, you know it. Until the next time. Okay, that was weird. That just that's a thing that happens, huh? I have to live with that, knowing that happens in this world. Alright. And I'm immortal, so oh, you're gonna call me to do this again, aren't you? Yes. So it's over then. Oh hey. Bridget. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Yep. Old Bridget. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, we have to fight you now! This is my realm. On guard! <laughs> this is Suascal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Yeah. Others will come. Okay, well. Engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. Uh, no, obviously three members of Ascalon that are left. If that. Hello. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. Well, that's lucky. I have no idea what it was. By the way, let's not talk about Sean. I'd rather Long not think about that too much. In the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No, Everyone's out to get me as soon as they meet me. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. Why not? Fucking sing! But I'll know the truth. Yeah, sing about it! Jonathan Reed. Tell stories! The Why not? Empire stepped forward Look, and drop the newborn! The just drop the newborn part. Literally tell that story to everyone Thank except you, the word newborn. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever. Was it Redgrave? By making me drink his blood. Was it Redgrave? Lord Redgrave's wife. Got it. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he? Yeah. It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. What a dick. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. Now that all is over. 
No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you My would say mother. that. Go then, young Akon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. Uh, okay. Are you making a pass at me, or...? Alright. Sure. London has been cleansed. Hey! This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will... And I ate, like, one guy. One guy! For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. It's been... Red like hate, red like hunger. Yeah, but red you know. Is life and death passing from one immortal to another. Yeah, but you from know. Predator to victim. Well, patiently biding its time to rise again. Yeah, but you know. London has been cleansed for now. Oh, good. But there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? Uh, the next disaster is only a matter of time. I suppose. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled. Oh yeah, why did she flee? And mask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Okay, thought I'd play there. Never mind, it's... A castle pretty much straight out of uh, Innocence Plague Tale. Or Plague Tale Innocence, whatever it is. Another game I started for YouTube, but got kind of bored of and changed tactics. That one might be worth streaming. That seems like a game that'd be more fun to stream than it would be to record and upload. We'll see. Well, same, same era, but instead this of... This uh, is it. English nobles, it's French Lady children. Ashbury's domain. It's also swords, there's no cars or anything. Yeah, I don't know why I said the same era. It's not? On any maps. It's not? It why isn't it on a map? It's... Someone clearly built this. Ooh, chapter 7. Healthy carrier. Well, time to go home. This is my car? Damn, I travel in style. I thought that was her car. It's like out on the streets. Ah, oh, this guy again? Ah, oh, for... Uh, always you, isn't it? Can't just leave me alone, huh? Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here. Oh yeah, it is daytime. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Can't you just leave me alone? Yeah. Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from when she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. Oh. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Well, toodle pip. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. So wait, you... bit me, though. Like, you... Where did you come from that you bit me? What? Who? Who made me? Like, are you... Do you have a personification? I'm still not entirely clear about that. Uh, sure. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep. Another dialogue tree, why not? Have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. Mm. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. Yeah, but they did that before. So, what does she seek? Yeah. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing. Since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant ghostly queen. Pray she never fully awakens, okay. for her wrath knows no bounds. But she seeks nothing! What is she wrathful about if she doesn't seek anything? I feel like that's a bit of an oversight in terms of writing. He made you a vampire, not sure on the details of how, don't think it's ever revealed. Might have been for the sequel that never why exists. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? We know you why. Know. Yeah, what the fuck kind of question is that? All i are female, i are... That's the more important question. i seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into scowls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics? 
Or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. God, okay. Fucking I don't know, bro, is the short answer there. This is not over. <sighs> I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. Tis unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. I'm not interfering, I'm learning it. I'm here to see Elizabeth, what of the Brotherhood, about the Guard of Pruin. Yeah, we never really met the Brotherhood, did we? They got tossed around a bit, but we never, like, met them proper. We met Ascalon and Pruin. But nah, I, th I thought, like, Swansea would introduce us to some of his Brotherhood chums. All we met was the one guy in the basement and him. Alright, well, it's the last we're gonna see of these guys, so... To Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere. Political intrigue. It's fair. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. Well, duh. More the sequel Lord stuff Red that Queen never came. Fair enough. Possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Yeah. I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. There's some more sequel bait that will never happen. What will become of the vampire hunters? They will never stop searching for William Marshall, for he escaped their two great hunts. Probably also sequel bait, let me think about it now. now their dark list. I don't think I'm on their dark list. They seem okay with me, actually. Well, one of them does. What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new primate. Yeah. But I'm certain the current primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. Yeah. 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 Biggest regret in the game was not killing Sean. It, turning Swansea might also be a regret. Hard to say. We'll no. never know, I guess. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. You're real, you? real confident why, uh, this game was gonna get a sequel, weren't which you guys? New thread of which old twisted plan? By old don't nod or don't nod or Tell whatever. Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons. And to bid them fare thee well. You have more than one? What? Your sons. Plural. Yeah. My God, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. <laughs> How long is this goddamn dialogue tree, dude? Your sons. Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son, as is William Marshall. But he's not here. Uh... Tell me about William Marshall. Oh my god. Why is his blood so Tell me about William Marshall's blood. Stronger than you, only older. You We're at the end. Strong. We're getting this big exposition dump at the end? Storytelling 101, if we're getting this much exposition right at the end, something went wrong when you were writing your story. You're like, ah shit, there's all these details we forgot to put in. Ah, stick them at the end. Ah. His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed. Well, fair enough. <laughs> For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. That's fair. Hey, yeah, you would have failed. Yeah, all right. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. For some reason. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Eh? Whose blood was it? Was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in Wait. this time of greatest peril. So, first of all, King Arthur's a vampire. King Arthur. 
was also your problem. And secondly, why was why he... Am I not surprised? But... Yes, he was. I... But he failed in the end. And for centuries the lamb suffered. Him. I thought... That if you drank the blood of a vampire, you become... Skull, if you're unlucky, the uh, Ekon or the uh, Volkod, or if you're lucky. Why wasn't McCollum turning then? What? Speak clearly then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Of course I did! No, I found the castle. Jonathan Reed. Okay, only well. You, can answer that. you say only you a lot, champ. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you. That's a weird thing to say. Ah, oh, well. Is this locked, really? I cannot enter. Oh, for God. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. Do we have to sneak, though? I think the blood was preserved. Oh, bef okay, that makes more sense. All right, that's fair then. Good thinking ahead, preserving that blood before he became a vampire. You know. I'm also gonna assume that uh, whole King Arthur failing uh, is a nod at the Black Plague or bubonic plague. It's like he failed to stop it and that uh, ravaged the lands for generations to come or whatever. Assuming that's uh, bubonic plague. Oh, for God's sakes! It's locked, all right. Open your the damn the door. Isn't expecting visitors. Ugh. Possibly. It's a clever little reference, if it is. Since I'm immediately led to think it's bubonic plague, and they went the whole game without ever actually mentioning the bubonic plague, so that would be some good writing. Unlike here's your big exposition dump right at the end. Can you? Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. What is it with you and locked somewhere. doors? Here, I'll just play the piano until you come and find me. You clearly lit this. It's also terrible, by the way. Just leaving a piano out to the elements. Dear Lady Ashbury, from 1865. So this is like 50 years ago? 60 years ago? Thank you for your recent letter and all the news it contained. I cannot wait to finally meet you when I arrive in London. Uh, the garden is beautiful under the summer sky, although I noted your wish to avoid the heat and direct sunlight because of your frail health. You're welcome any day. We'll discuss the wonderful idea of yours concerning the foundation of an orphanage for young ladies. Oh, inspired by the French Maison Royale de Saint-Louis. Sadly closed uh, when the French people chose, my god, I can't even write these words down, to cut off their king's head. Ah, he had it coming. Such a place, destined to provide good education to gifted but poor orphan girls, will surely excite my friends here in the city. You can count on me and my influence to help make your project success. Yours ever sincerely, Countess Alexandra Somerset. Alright, well that's nice, I guess. Portrait of Elizabeth Blackwood by Johann Vermeer of 1666. Neat. Oh my god, that's me! What? Portrait of Dr. Jonathan Reed by Elizabeth Ashbury, 1918. Okay, so that's the year. Elizabeth, my love, you allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. It's kinda. Also, there's like five other portraits, but whatever. She's big into boats as well. Actually, I recognize that one. Copy of a letter. Uh, from seven, Jesus, 1795. Dear Mr. McAllister, as the new legal owner of the Ashbury State, I intend to quickly engage in the overdue maintenance and repairs on the walls. That didn't last. And this crypt of a castle. Among the few architects I invited uh, to send forth proposals, I was most impressed by your respectful approach concerning renovations on historical buildings and their preservation. I would be glad to meet you at your convenience. My only request would be to speak to you directly, not to your assistants. Any evening of next month would be agreeable. You may come to the castle or I may meet you at your office as you prefer. If you agree to come to the castle, I can show you what kind of repairs and modifications I have in mind concerning the crypt, uh, which you may need considerable work and reconstruction. Very sincerely, Lady Ashbury. Like most castles, this one has a crypt. And 
that holds something special inside. Dead bodies. This castle is falling apart. Yeah, I noticed, did you? Well, she lit that. There's not even a chair near there. Why'd she light the one on the far? Oh, God, I have to go down there and get that letter. Ugh. It's a lot of... Oh. I was gonna say, there's a lot of walking here for the epilogue. That sweet fragrance. We get it. You're thirsty for her. Probably in more ways than one. And recently. Huh, 1907. So this was like... 11 years ago? Dear Lady Ashbury, I write to confirm my men will be at your castle next Monday to begin new work on the crypt and its access. Plans have been approved and I'll personally be on site to supervise installation of the locks and security measures you've requested. I can also assure you that my men have been briefed about never entering the crypt itself or the second floor of the castle. I must say I'm proud to continue and enhance the work started by my great-grandfather uh, when employed by your ancestor in 1795. Yours sincerely, Angus McAllister. Oh, well, that's neat. It's, uh... It's great. He did a shit job, though. Well, actually, this room looks fine. But there's, like, tons of holes in the second floor. What the hell? And this is... Portrait of Lady Ashbury by Vincent Van Gogh. That's... He was considered a hack until he died, so I don't know why you have a portrait by Van Gogh of yourself, but whatever. His portraits are worth garbage until he died. Do I really need the blood meter? Suspicious. What painting? What? Oh, that one? Yeah, it does look a touch suspicious. A sword and a moon. Jesus Christ. Hey, Arg, remember when you said there's little to no gameplay at the end here? What the hell are you talking about? Also, the cool warping. Crescent moon and a sword. That's a portrait of the guy killing the uh, blood queen. Hmm. Huh. I'll be. Uh, hello. I'm up here now. Oh, it's here. Clearly, this epilogue has got some uh, more miles to go. Hi, uh, Miss Ashbury. When we communicated, conversed a large coffin from the Temple Church of London to the crypt of the Ashbury Castle in Scotland. Happy to report your request has finally been made validated. My drivers have been informed that for security reasons, guards must always protect the coffin. You've hired these individuals who will be waiting for us in London. They'll be informed that under no circumstance should the carriage try and pass by boat, uh, but always by road and bridges, for the precious wood and the relics in the coffin cannot be exposed to humidity and moisture. Find a detailed quote of the entire operation attached to this letter. We are ready to go to London as soon as payment is received in full. Samuel Lewis, independent contractor. Fair enough. Unlock this door as well. I'm looking for a moon and a sword, eh? Yeah, crescent moon and a sword. Is this door not what I need? Okay, no. Alright, alright. Okay. What have we here? Other than a lot of head scratching garbage. Uh, anything downstairs? Nope, of course not. Alright. Locate the secret passage. Well, I need to find the moon and the sword, don't I? I imagine it'll be on this floor. This is something. One last switch. Sounds like I was meant to find the sword first, but no, I found this. Uh, so if I were a sword, I'd be th right over here. All right, cool. What are these symbols? Oh no, that's a flower. Huh? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. Well, I hit the wrong one, so. One last switch, and sword symbol. Looking for a sword. Just kind of assumed that would be it. You're oh, you're the sword. Voila. Down here? Seems like it might be. Hello? Ashbury? It's me. Stud Muffin. Hey, 
Hello? Is she gonna be the final boss? Oh my god. Drop your sword, father. You have nothing to be afraid of. This is a private moment. I should go. I was gonna say, is that Dawson? What? But I killed him. It can't be Dawson. Looks like him though. Shall we abandon this? Oh Shall we lower our heads? Well, I'll be damned. You told me that. Why are you burning everything? Blood is approaching. Old but young. How strange. You've yeah, seen better days, Willie. Smited? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gorshin, Elizabeth. That's a good twist. Deceit. No more bosses or gameplay if memory serves, just story. Fair enough. I know. Puzzle. What took you so long, Jonathan? I had to kill a fucking monstrosity. You know. Is this... really him? Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke. Servant of five mortal kings. Former regent and saviour of England. Huh. Yeah. That's, the greatest uh... knight who ever lived, according to some. That's a good twist. And... You called him father. For he gave me eternal life. Ah, fair and enough. Much more. And I finding this so place wasn't easy. It's true. You left like no information you about it. Had questions. Oh, don't do a fucking dialogue tree. Don't I stand before you, please. In this vault. I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes. Rap nope, okay. I was uh, what is with you? And your dialogue trees, just weave this in, naturally, in a conversation. Where are we? You're here. Why flee here? London's saved, by the way. Oh, you know what? Sure, why'd you come here? Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes, to end it once and for all. I have destroyed the London saved the creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. Yes. You did well, Jonathan. I know! You truly saved the city. Damn right I did. We did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together, Elizabeth. I cannot did it with the waifu. I was the cause of all this. Oh, well, shit. Through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil, she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. I... The poisoned blood of my father. Maybe? A healthy carrier. That's all I am. Eh, Marshall infected you. We could cure him. Why hide? Why hide him here? Is he dangerous? Uh, can we cure him? We could cure him. It's too late. The blood of hate has run for too long. The antidote would not work on him. I tried. Believe me, I tried. Where'd you get King Arthur's blood? Eh, whatever. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Wait, what? Saved you. How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of oh. angels by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Right, okay, he just... Blood... He bit you, but he jabbed you with the. Species, got it. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Got it. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. Not sure you should tell me that. This antidote cured me. Because I'm judging you very loudly in my head. How did you meet William Marshall? Tell me. Fucking pack it in, game. This is obscene. This dialogue tree bullshit. What about us? What do you mean? 
You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. Oh my god. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse. Ooh, uh, mm, Get in yeah, the danger uh, mm. as you turned your back. Like the newborn fool you were. Yeah, uh, maybe. It's a bit of a sore subject. Maybe don't bring that one up. <sighs> you should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall... She had to bring up the Hampton thing. So many hostile plans. Had to bring it up. Could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I, I know can't. now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. <laughs> but be careful. William. I'm thrilled to meet you. I've got nine dialogue trees to go through with you. Yes, I got a wheel to spin, man! My god. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. Well, it is such maybe don't talk about that one. He was an ass. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak. For my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want, then? Tell me more about the blood of hate. Oh, Jesus. The blood of hate. I just don't have it in me. It this you? fucking dialogue tree. Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze. Didn't end all that well for King John, if memory serves. Yeah. You could blow a fortress down if you really Wasn't exactly the, the finest. Oh my god. Wasn't the finest of kings, was he? Can we talk about vampires? Can we talk about Morrigan? Guys! People that wrote this, what are you doing? Wrap this up! What are these dialogue trees? I was fine with the whole boss introduced at the last minute big old red queen thing. There was clearly more going on. I thought it tied in nicely with the antler guy we kept seeing. I thought that was okay, actually. This is obs this is bordering on obnoxious in terms of the fucking dialogue trees. Holy hell. Can we speak about the Morrigan? But sure. Queen. Tell me. What of her? It's not like we'll ever get a sequel, so... Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, <sighs> we too could hear the red song. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. The one question I ask, he's like, nah, I don't Do want to say. Do you your maker? Only God is my maker. Okay. For he created everything on this earth. Yeah, uh-huh. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Uh -huh. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. Sure. How'd you meet? How did you meet, Elizabeth? Times were tough. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family. Singing for her death to come. I chose to save her. Sequel set up to some degree, I think, which didn't go all that well, I think. I mean, there's sequel set up, and then there's just dragging this out. What'd you do next? Ugh. We could set you free. Let you out. 
To say what I said earlier, if you're still dumping exposition on me at this point in the game, something went wrong in your storytelling process. Hey, Ellie, what's up? We're nearly done with the vampire game. And then we get to spin the wheel! Stay here and repent. Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek. Fortunately, I was able to drag this out to a reasonable length for a stream. A little short, but still. You have lunch. Oh, great. I'm going to order some lunch after this. Probably closer to supper or dinner at that point, but I'm starving over here. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. Nope, stab. You already are the sky. Well, I mean, all it starts, it's a piss weak excuse. The man wants to see the sky. For I welcome the sword you bear, for it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. This is all three of my meals. I don't eat much for a heavy gal. Eh. And to you also, Jonathan. What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No. That sounds like it's I gonna hurt. To Maybe just let me cut your head off? That's probably quicker. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go. I can't stand it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. <laughs> That is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Just Elizabeth, don't eat no, people for just, like a week. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to start the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. We will lock ourselves down then. I'll get all the material I need and I'll perform my research here with you until you're cured. Are you mad? Who would take care of us? Who would free us if it takes decades or even more? Old Bridget will take care of us. What, do you, does she have her fucking letter? You're serious, aren't you? You really are ready to do this. Well, that's sweet. I love you, Elizabeth. I can. So I'm guessing this game has multiple endings, right? This seems like the good ending. What's the bad ending look like? This is crazy. She die? We go on a killing spree together? What's the bad ending? Then they had crazy hot vampire sex. Elizabeth, no, wrong, Elizabeth. Well, it's the British spelling. They use an S, not a Z. It is what it is. Ah. Prayer for the summoned called by this song. Still going. Child born from darkness, whose path he must find. Now the song is sung, and your path chosen. England is safe, for you have prevailed. Hooray! I bid you farewell, my champion, bittersweet. You found yourself a newer quest. But Queen Elizabeth, that's so how we I spell it. it. My queen sleeps once again. And Maybe it's the Scottish her spelling, her I don't know. Until at last she rises, woken Stonehenge? By okay. Alright. It was a good shot, I guess. Didn't have anything to do with anything, though. Okay. Credits? There we go. Credits. Bravo. It's done. They also spelled vampire with a Y, Ellie. Maybe they don't know how to spell things. Felipe Moreau. This is a French studio, I believe. Don't nod. Boy, howdy, you guys. 
What a game. Overall good. A couple complaints. Uh, don't just dump exposition right there at the end. That was abhorrent. And also your combat was awful. No. Just if you ever make a game like this in the future, either no combat or hire someone who knows what they're doing. It does have multiple endings in the bad ending. She dies and Jonathan becomes a blood-draining maniac as in he drains blood from people and kills them. Ah. So Tulip, maybe. Hey, you know, maybe a song over the credits? Thank you. Glad, glad you addressed that complaint. And quickly, too. I appreciate that. Uh, Game functioned fine. Looked very nice. Had one major glitch there where, like, weapon sounds stopped happening towards the end of the last stream. That was a bit obnoxious. But otherwise, it functioned perfectly fine. Yeah, really the two big complaints are you kind of dumped a lot of exposition there at the end that could have been, you know, woven into the story a little bit better, I think. And uh, that's a very minor complaint, though, compared to the fucking combat. Holy shit. Just awful. Awful, awful combat. Like I said, if you ever make another one of these, hire someone who knows what they're doing when it comes to combat. No clanking for me. Excuse me? What's clanking? Alright, is there... Okay. I was gonna say, is there a scene at the end? Can I skip this? Seems like that is it. Alright. Let me, let me pull up the, uh, the wheel here. Weapon sounds? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was the guns, not the swords, actually, but I got what you mean. Uh, wheel. Where's the wheel? Uh... The wheel is always... I can never remember where I... There it is. Spin the wheel. Clankety clank clank. All right, and upcoming games. Let's see. No post credit scene that I'm aware of. Well, I'll take your word for it. All right, that is another game down from the almighty wheel. Uh, I'm still going to say if I get Phoenix right, uh, I will not play it because I'm not ready to do episode two yet. So Phoenix writes a respin. Uh, otherwise, uh, let's see here. Uh, just grab a you. Okay. And that should be the almighty wheel. Hey, look at that. Sorry, can't see the chat against the white background. Can't see the wheel. I was, I was setting it up. All right, we have Phoenix Wright Trilogy. That's a respin, if we get it. Shovel Knight. Greedfall. Tulip. Uh, eh, Tulip. Uh, Fire Emblem. Sacred Stones. Metal Arms Glitch in the System, Damnation, Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, Mega Man Battle Network 6, Hector, Badge of Courage, Shantae and the Seven Sirens, Mega Man Zero, Odin Sphere, another vampire game, uh, Masquerade Bloodlines, and Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. Uh, for the record, one of these, two of these games, if you count Phoenix right, but that's a respin, one of these games is one I, you know, Arg put it on the wheel at my request. He specifically asked for Shovel Knight, because I rather like that game, and it would be fun to play. But anyway, let's give it a spin. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? Real quick. That's everything. Antaro, Vampire, Greedfall. I think I've got all the, the hot new ones. All right, let's see it. It's gonna be... Well, that was quick. Greedfall. I was on the wheel for one spin. There it is. Greedfall, baby. Uh, very close to Shovel Knight. Uh, what is that one? Ah, oh, you missed Tulip by one. Don't think you're forgetting anything. Wrong game. Well, missed it by one. Tulip will come up eventually. Hell, I'll just play Tulip if I'm sick of not playing it. Because it's a weird game and I want to play it. It'd be fun to play through. But not Greedfall's up next, so I need to get around to uh, acquiring Greedfall. Fortunately, it's on Steam. I think I remember a little something about Greedfall. Like, uh, you kind of, uh, 
I don't know if I'm thinking of it or not, but, uh, I did see a video that talked about, like, uh, I think it was Greedfall. It referenced you get, like, party members in your game. So it's Greedfall on Thursday. Indeed it is. Good, good week for 7-9. A lot of these games are his, for the record. Uh, other than Greedfall, Shovel Knight he requested, kinda. Uh, Chulip he also kind of requested. Damnation, Prince of Persia, uh, and Vampire. All requests from him. You do get party members of Greedfall. Yeah, I think it showed up in the list of, like, party members keep repeating shit and it annoys the hell out of the player. Like, one of the guys in Greedfall apparently made that list. I think that was Greedfall from uh, what memory serves. I wonder how long to beat Greedfall is. How long to beat Greedfall. Uh, average is 23 hours. Rushed is 16, so another 20 hour game. So, eh, is what it is, I guess. I'm certainly not going for completionist. Thank you, I'm getting it on Steam. Righto, that's going to be that. I will see everyone on Thursday for Greedfall. Don't know a thing about the game. Oh, wait. Uh, core role-playing experience in Forge Destiny of a New World, seeping with magic, filled with riches, lost secrets, fantastic creatures, with diplomacy, deception, and force become part of a living, evolving world. Uh, focusing on main objectives, Greedfall is 23 hours in length. If you're a gamer that strives to see all aspects of the game, likely spend 51 hours. Jesus. Bye. Pokemon execute. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll add it real quick. Move Greedfall here. Ah. Pokemon XD Gale. Uh, that's the sequel to Colosseum, right? Darkness. No arc. Yes. That's what I thought. All right, then. I will see you all later on Thursday. Uh... Love you all. Talk to you later, shrewd negotiators. Uh, be good people.